What's up everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Chess Doctor here with yet another banger and in today's banger we're continuing our series of grinding ELO in rapid chess. Today's day or episode 11 and uh, current ELO is 1091. So we are very, very, very close to hitting 1100 for the first time in my life. So am I gonna do it this episode? I don't know, okay? But I hope for the best result. So let's find our victim and uh, let's hopefully get someone higher rated, crush them and then win like 10 points and then chill as the queen of 1100 elo. That's what I'm hoping for, uh, but we still don't know, okay, what's gonna happen. Uh, so if I win this game, I win eight points, which means that I'm gonna be having 1099 elo, which is just ridiculous, okay? So we're going to play with the black pieces, this uh, Stafford, three nights game. Okay, three nights game it is, and you, sir, you know how much I hate this. Sir, you know exactly how much I hate this. So I have to think, what do I wanna do with this, okay? So I think I'm just gonna develop like this and I'm gonna play the black Italiano, I think, because I'm gonna give this pawn, I didn't see that. I'm gonna give that pawn, even though I didn't see that. I'm gonna give it, okay? I don't care, I don't care, I'm not going to, I don't know what to do against three knights, so I wanna confuse myself and this opponent here today, okay guys? Cause I just gave the pawn, but I don't care. I just don't wanna play three knights because it shocked me when I saw that I'm, I really got stunned, okay? Now I don't know what's happening, but neither does he, look at this. Look at these horses, okay? So we're ready to castle up. Uh, saucy and juicy, so I think we should do just right that, okay? So we are castled and we are chilling, okay? So uh, we can't take this yet, but we can do something like this. So rook to e8 is looking saucy lossy, okay? Oh, it's my turn. Oh, what happened? Excuse moi. Okay, so he asked me Bishop El Questiono. Uh, and we should just like go back probably, uh, but why not pin this so that we can actually take this pawn now for free, okay? And even if he asks me El Questiono, I can just take and then he takes and then we take the pawn, so then we're equal and I, I just didn't lose the pawn, okay? Oh, but now he is defending this, which is just looking ridiculous. Come on, sir, what is happening? Uh, I'm gonna ask him a question here, but then I can provoke this f3. <laughs> okay, I'm actually just going to go with my uh, original plan of going rook to e8, uh, because I want to capitalize on this. Okay, but I'm now kind of letting him, you know, castle here, but he let me have the move. So if I take, and yeah, he takes, we take, yeah, he takes here, so that's not the best. But now we can force a trade like this, and then he takes here, and then we can take here, because if he takes, we take with a check, okay? So I think that this is actually pretty good, and that we actually now somehow, by accidentally gambiting a pawn, uh, got to play an okay position against three knights, okay? So he castled instead of uh, trading here, and now we can probably somehow exploit that hmm because we can take this bishop because we were the ones who gave the bishop for the horse so now we can do that as well and we're also forcing a trading move here so i honestly like that because after he recaptures i have time to develop some of my pieces which i think is necessary for me right now so i think i'm first gonna develop my horse uh because i developed my rook and this bishop, I still don't know where I want to put it. So that's why I'm going to go with horse to c6 first. And I heard Gotham saying like, first develop the horse uh, because you don't really know do you want a bishop, you know, for example, here. Maybe you want him here in the future or whatever. So here he wants to like rook trade. Uh, but I think I should let him trade it, right? Because uh, then if I trade, he takes the open file here. Uh, which is not the best for me. I should like I should keep the tension probably, right? So uh, let's see. Does this horse have any potential? It's not really, but we can ask this question. Even if he trades, like after the trades are done, uh, we we are still asking the same important question, and I don't care. He can hit me with uh, rook to e1 then uh, after we trade, but okay. So he he did this. And now we can trade the knights, right? 
uh, but I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure how much I like that, honestly. But I'm also not sure what I want with this bishop. This bishop is kind of... I don't know, but I want my horse, honestly. I should develop the bishop first, right? Uh, but I would like my horse to go like this, to just jump around, right? Because I want to get my horse on this side of the board, right? I don't want him here. So I think that we should do that. I'm, I'm gonna do that because that's my intuitive move right here. Uh, if he check and mates me for some reason and this is like the worst mistake, it is what it is, okay? But I feel like I should like coordinate my pieces towards that side of the board and the bishop can easily be like put anywhere here because it's still not developed. So now he is threatening himself here. And to that we can just do this. We can honestly just do that because... Or can we like defend it with the horse? We can't, okay? Because this... Ask a horse a question. This is interesting. And he's like threatening... He, this is not made because I can go here, right? But he wants to like ruin my structure. I don't really care, sir, okay? I don't really care that much. And now he wants to do this. So I think that I should go with the move bishop to f5 because uh, then I'm blocking his vision and he can't check and mate me or whatever. Yeah, this would this be check and mate? Not really, but very quickly, probably. So if I go here, I'm blocking that vision. And then if he trades, I'm hitting the queen with the knight after taking back. And also the knight is under question. So this is gonna be my move currently, okay? We're gonna pre-move this because it's a no-brainer, okay? Just DJ Khaled vibes all the way, guys, all the way. And we're severely down on time, though, <laughs> because this opponent ain't making a video. That's what I say every single time, but that is true, okay? Filming a video uh, takes some time as well, and you know, saying stuff, showing, showing it on the board, drawing the arrows. So that's why I like uh, the fact that they started playing more rapid uh, because because of that I can like talk more, I can get into position, I can think more and I actually play better games and better moves because I don't like stress myself over time because this is like more than a five minute blitz game. This is, this is enough time for me to win, okay? I know that I can be this person and I'm just full of confidence, okay, sir? <laughs> but we are now waiting for him. I spent... 29 seconds for bishop to f5 even though I immediately knew that this is the move I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I spent so much time. Okay I, I really don't know why because I was explaining it right. Okay Maybe I should like make the move then explain it while we're waiting for the opponent because now we have nothing to do <laughs> But I didn't think of that. Okay guys, I, I didn't think of that we're still waiting for him though, so we're gonna get our time advantage real quick. I forgot this is rapid and that people who tend to play a lot of rapid tend to take a lot of time to think. Uh, and I started being like that as well. So now he's only up a minute, not even up a full minute now, okay? So that's it, we are slaying today, okay guys? Uh, by the way, I was thinking I will try and start uh, streaming on Kick. I really wanted to try out the site because it's new. And um, I'm going to try and start it out, you know. So if you want to see some lives, I'm going to uh, share uh, the link when it happens, okay? So now I pre-moved. He really took, which is nice because I wanted him to take, okay? And uh, now, we just, uh, now we just want a horse because we take here. Uh, oh, but he's also threatening my horse. Right, right, okay. But then, <laughs> this is so a lot of thinking, okay? This is a lot of thinking. If I take this horse, he takes mine, and uh, then after that, I can, like, take this pawn, but he takes mine. I don't want to do so many trades. That's the deal. I don't want to do that many trades. Because that's kind of ridiculous, okay? But I also don't know how to uh, how to protect this horse right now. I can protect it with queen to c8, but that move is just looking ridiculous because this rook is never going to come out, okay? So now I'm severely thinking, guys, because any of these available squares, which is only this one, honestly, or just going back here, is looking kind of ridiculous to me. But if I try, I mean, I can do, do this. Okay, I can actually do that because that's a tempo move on the queen that's also protecting the horse. And then I win this horse, okay? Okay, slay. I, did, that, did I just cook something? He pre-moved me back, okay? He's sacrificing this. Oh, because if I take, then he's gonna take this one. Okay, sir. 
Okay, sire. But now I can just protect mine here. Because what is he attacking? He doesn't have a checkmate here. But he is attacking this. But now we just protect it, right? Okay, I'm going to do this because I think that my queen needs a lift. She needs a lift. She needs a ride. Because we need to connect these rooks. And I'm defending the horse, right? He doesn't have a checkmate. But does he have like a fork? Okay, I don't think he has like any forks here, okay? Yeah, this is all of these moves are just ridiculous, okay? So I think that we just got out of a uh, potential trouble, okay? Because this was weird. This was very weird. I, w I forgot I was playing against three nice game. Come on, guys. I'm holding on well. We're playing 18 moves uh, and like for 10 minutes already, I think. We're pl or 11. Doesn't matter. Uh, we're playing for a good chunk of time uh, against the worst opening, honestly. Karo Khan can't even come close to how annoying Three Nights game is, okay? Because, th oh my goodness. If anybody knows wh what to do against that, please let me know, okay, guys? So I didn't fall for his trick, because I don't care. I'm a fearless woman, okay? And I believe in my guts, and you should too, okay? Because if I intuitively feel like, oh, this is not a saucy move, I am gonna do it then. If it looked tempting, like, let's take the horse... But no, 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 sir. It would just ruin my structure so much. And I don't want to do so many trades, okay? As I said, I want to keep these pieces on the board. So, next, he's still thinking. So now we're, uh, we have the same time now, which is just ridiculous. So as I said, some rapid people, truly, truly funny. <sighs> but we should do something about this whole situation. But now his horse is under question. Because if he takes here, it actually if he do, like does something randomly, like I don't know this. Uh, I take here and then like he takes back with the check, but he can't pick up the knight, okay? So he has to move his knight. And he can just go here and not care. I don't know what's, what's his problem. Why is he thinking for so long? Honestly, Nemo, okay. Because, like, this move seems fine. I mean, for me at least. I don't know what's happening. Are they gone or am I having internet gambit, uh, gambit issues currently? Okay, I don't know. But we traded the bishops. That's why this game is very awkward and weird. Because uh, we only have horses on the board. Only horses. So now he wants to trade the horse here. Okay. But I'm not a really big fan of that. I would rather just go here and attack the queen. And uh, I don't know, that seems like an okay move for me. Because then this queen doesn't have a pressure of holding this horse here. Uh, which is good. And his queen can't like come here or something because of these reasons. Uh, rooks, if they trade, I don't mind. Because I'm keeping the open file. And then like if he comes here, it's GG, of course. So I think that this is a good move. Even though it looks very ridiculous going back with the horse like this. Uh, the dude spends two and a half minutes for the for this move of uh, offering a horse trade, by the way. Two, not 20 minutes. Two and a half minutes. Yeah, I thought it was 20 minutes. I was like, what? <laughs> what? Okay, so now they're severely losing time. And now you're gonna just see a person uh, crumble under time pressure. Probably. Maybe it's gonna be me. I didn't say, I didn't specify who. <laughs> Maybe it can be me as well, you know, but we're getting into like the blitzy mode and that can be <coughs> very tricky, okay? That can be very tricky, so uh, rapid people watch out because your chess doctor takes some uh, medicine to play faster, okay? I practiced bullet before uh, I started playing rapid, so I think I have okay uh, speed skills. So he is now moving that way. Uh, this is not attacked at all, so we don't care. But I just want to make my horse do something better. Do something more productive, okay? Because this horse is just looking awkward. And I don't know how to reroute him. I can go here. Uh, but then after that, like, I can't jump here. I can go here then. But he has this check, okay? We just move, so we don't really care. And if we move, we trade here. I think we're fine with this, okay? So I'm gonna do that. Oh, he's attacking this one. <laughs> I didn't see that part. I didn't see that part. But you know what, sir? Take it. Come on, let me see you take it, okay? Let me see you take it. 
but then I can't go here. Okay, maybe I just messed it up. But is he going to see that? See, he didn't see that, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to go here. Yeah, I'm just going to go and hide behind the pawn, probably. Because here it's not such a good idea, I think. Probably not. I'm going to hide... Why am I dark? Hello? Good morning. <laughs> uh, I wanna, I, I'm wanna. i going to hide behind the pawn, okay? I'm going to hide behind the pawn. I'm going to tuck in my king. And I'm going to kiss him goodnight, okay? Because how he going to come here to h8 towards my king? Okay, okay, so he probably wants to do something like this. But that just doesn't work. That just doesn't make sense, okay? And now I think I'm gonna go and do something like, I don't know, we can attack this pawn here because that's a weakness right now. Or can we do something better like just by going here? Uh, because honestly, but wait, then he can take my horse, okay? Because if he like takes, yeah, okay, that's not good. That ain't good, sir, that ain't good. Okay, then I'm gonna go and move here. Can he fork me? I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna go and go here. Uh, because, I don't know. I think this is what they have to do. I think this is, this is what's the best for me. Uh, but I'm planning on jumping with this horse somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow, guys. Because this horse is so ridiculous. But you know what? His is as well. We were, we were playing the three nice game. And this person decided we're gonna play with our horses. And now look how boring this is. Honestly, I... I can't believe what's happening, okay? So he wants to, like, check and meet me, but I'm not sure if he has enough. Uh, <clears throat> I have to move my horse, though, because he has a lot of attack here. So he takes, I take, he takes, and then I can take back. So that's not very good. And we have to move this. But if he takes here, takes, takes, takes then we are chilling, okay? So we just have to move the horse. The horse gonna be moved here, and that's just it. Uh, we are under time pressure, guys, okay? I didn't notice, as he said, somebody, somebody gonna crumble under the time pressure. Who it gonna be? Opponent or me? We gonna see? Ah, ha, ha, ha. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, let's just trade up here, because I am. I'm getting sick and tired of these horses. And I really wouldn't like to see them in my game anymore. So we're gonna do this. We're just gonna trade a lot right now because I don't care. Let's see whether or not he's gonna trade this. I know that he can win this pawn on d5 as well. But we are now under time pressure. And if he takes that, then this is gonna be back in rank. So we are actually chilling, okay? Okay. Okay. So... Uh, we just have to play faster and we're just gonna win. That is the policy right now of the game because, yeah, the opponent's uh, clock gonna start turning red and we are gonna just say GG in 3, 2, and 1. I yeah, okay. I counted too fast. And plus I pre-moved this, so if he takes, he's gonna be like, oh, it's my type again. <laughs> Reading my opponent's mind, you know, beca why? Because I'm the opponent sometimes as well. We all are, okay? Just imagine it's actually uh, Internet Gambit and it's just like my time is sticking out like this. But but the site is not loading, blah, blah, blah. It, that would be horrendous. Oh, he made a move. Okay, sir. So we're not going to... We're going to go here. Or wait. Okay, let's go like this. So he can't take that pawn because why would we give him... Why would we give him that, sir? Why would we give him? Excuse-moi. Okay, we're going to go, I don't know where, here. Here. Target this. <laughs> this is a target. This is a weakness. <laughs> okay, I think we just won on time. But we are going to be like... Crazy elo. Oh my god, how annoying this opponent really is. Okay, we can go here. Attack the queen with... A, attack the man's queen when he has a 5 seconds on the clock. Okay, so now we have to trade up the queens. 
Okay, sir. Ah! Okay, now I shouldn't just crumble under under the time pressure of a man who has one second, okay? Okay, okay, I didn't do that, okay? We won that game. And current ELO is 1,099. Yay, like, that's crazy because I need one singular point, okay? So let's go for just a quick uh, brief analysis uh, because I just want to see the estimate, the accuracy, uh, but uh, currently the video is already 20 minutes long, so uh, we're not going to like look at that. Uh, we're just going to look at some highlights. 77% for the opponent, 73 for me, uh, which is true. I felt like they were playing better than me, okay? Uh, 1250 and 1150 is the estimate, and that was true. We were playing very good chess and the game was balanced, but they were better because they know the opening better, considering that I have zero clues about what to do in against three nights nice game. I think I played well. And let's see what was my uh, what was my pawn sacrifice here? Oh, that was an inaccuracy, okay? Okay, but uh, after that I was playing good. I was playing good. I was targeting good things. Okay. 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 So this is good. He has a great move and just a 100 elo uh, point estimate above me. But I'm happy. This game was good. GG to the opponent. They were just too slow. Uh, they were having time advantage for a, a big part of the game. And then they just decided to... I don't know. I tripped them out. I, I think I just started reading them out by my moves and they were like, what's happening? Okay. And then I just pre-moved two or th three times and the game is literally over. So guys, rapid is easy. Uh, chess is very simple and that's it. Okay. I'm happy I beat my arch nemesis three nights game. Okay. I'm very, very, I'm proud of myself. Okay. Applause for your chess doctor. She beat the three nights. <laughs> so guys that's it for the video and for the game uh, thank you for watching episode 11 uh, and if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you aren't and type in some commentos I really uh, uh, love your comments and whenever I see I get a comment I'm just so happy so make sure to write something and uh, guys that's it check out the description join the discord and the soul crushers club if you want to donate, uh, all of the links are in the description. And yeah, make sure to check out the kick uh, follow there because I'm probably going to go live there like tomorrow or in a couple of days. So make sure to stay tuned. Okay, guys. So that's it from your chess doctor. Thank you for stopping by at the office today and uh, have the most wonderful day. Okay, guys. Thank you. I appreciate you so much for being here. And that's it. See you all tomorrow. Bye bye.